Alright, so I don't know if you guys remember back in the days when Dragon Ball Z was still new and fresh, like when new episodes were still coming out in the early 2000s and new episodes would come out on VHS and DVD. Do you guys remember those days? If you're still pretty young, then you probably never watched Dragon Ball Z or if you did watch it, you watched it like way after the series was over. But for the older people out there, like my age, um, we grew up, you know, coming home from school, watching the newest episode of Dragon Ball Z on TV right after school. And and pretty much we grew up with the whole series. Well anyway, while the series was still running and they were bringing out new episodes, if you ever went to Walmart, they would have Dragon Ball Z toys. And if it was like during the Cell Saga, when the episodes were coming out during the Cell Saga and you went to Walmart, the toys would be about the Cell Saga. And I don't know if you guys remember the toys, the toys were made by a company called Irwin Toys and this is how they look like. And those toys are really nostalgic for me because you would buy them and you would get like some little Dragon Balls. and. Some of the time, the toys would come with the Dragon Ball Z card. So, would buy the toy, watch the series, and collect the Dragon Ball Z cards. So pretty much Dragon Ball Z was everywhere. It was like a good memory for everybody, like just growing up with all of that. So if you ever bought the DVDs or VHS, like I started buying it from the Android Saga all the way up until the end of the series, um, at the end of the Blue Saga. Before the episodes would play, there would be some commercials. And the commercials, like, I don't really remember them that well, but you know, it would advertise like Dragon Ball Z DVDs, Dragon Ball Z merchandise, and one commercial that I really liked was the future Trunks saga. The commercial was pretty much like Trunks being a badass and it just kept like flashing Trunks in your face. The music was epic and it pretty much just promoted Trunks, the character, and the saga of Trunks. So I mean that commercial was really cool but anyway we're not talking about that commercial. The one I want to talk about is there was always a commercial in the VHS before I watched it and it was for some Dragon Ball Z figures and the Dragon Ball Z figures were created by a company called If Labs. Now, I was thinking about it right now, I'm like, you know, when they were advertising the commercials about these Dragon Ball Z figures by If Labs, like it had like a really dark tone to the commercial and you would see like the figures like close up, 4HD, whatever, um, saying that these figures are very, very detailed, very, very high quality. You would see like the close up of the figures like in this kind of dark tone, mysterious type of way, like making these figures like very, very hype, you know? And the thing is, when I looked at it, I'm like, you know, those figures look badass, but they look very expensive and they look very, very exclusive. And you know, I kept saying like, if labs, you know, like grandpa's Ball Z figures, you know. Well, anyway, uh, I was kind of thinking like, what happened to this company? You know, where did it go? Like, you don't really see, you don't hear anything about this company. I tried searching if labs on Google, nothing comes up about the company. Like there's no wiki page, no information about the company, nothing. So this company pretty much popped up and disappeared. I mean, I can't find any information. I searched, man, there's nothing. Like there's nothing like if you do search it on Google if labs the only thing that comes up is the Dragon Ball Z figures and some other figures but about the company itself like there's nothing else about the company just the figures that's all you're gonna see on Google if you guys find some more information about the company let me know because I kind of want to know about them you know like where did they come from where did they go so anyway the figures that they sold were actually the Dragon Ball Z movie figures so it'll be like movie collection um I think the first set of figures was from uh the Lord Slug Saga. So it would be characters from the movies. You know, I think later on they had like Broly. And yeah, the figures were really high quality, very detailed. I don't know how many movie collections they had. I think like the first set of figures, hold up, I have to look this up. Well, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the first movie collection had a total of four figures, which was a uh, Goku, Lord Slug, Piccolo, and Cooler. And I think the next movie collection had Vegeta. I don't remember, man, I don't remember. Um, But I'm thinking the next movie collection was like made up cooler or Vegeta and some other characters. But anyway, so all these figures were from the movies. I never actually bought one. They did sell them at Walmart for whatever time they were out for. And they came out in like these very fancy boxes and the boxes were kind of cylinder. Um, they were pretty big, you know, like that big. I never bought one because they were very expensive. I'm guessing they were like about 20 or 30 bucks, maybe 40 bucks. They were pretty expensive. Like I didn't, like I was a kid, you know, I'm not gonna spend that much money on a figure. And the Irwin Toys figures, those were like about six bucks, seven bucks. And they came with the Dragon Ball Z card. So would I rather buy one big 20, 30 dollar figure or would I rather buy like two or three of the Irwin figures? I always bought the Irwin figures. So they sold them at Walmart. I saw them at Walmart when I was a kid, I remember. I wanted to get one, but they were too expensive. My friend did end up buying like a whole bunch of them and he actually took them 
them out of the box. Like what I was thinking is like if I buy it, I'm not gonna take it out, out of the box because the box is fancy. It looks very, very expensive, you know, like a collector's item. As a kid, I was thinking like that's a collector's item. So my friend, he bought a bunch of them and he took them all out of the box. And I just remember like kind of like playing with it and noticing that it's kind of like a rubbery material. It's not, you know, here I have Ace. It's not like a hard material. Like this is kind of like hard plastic, you know? It's not like that. It was like a soft rubbery material. Like if you played with the hair, like it would bend. So when they said high quality, like I kind of understood like, all right, like it kind of, like it has kind of like the soft plastic to it, you know? And when you look at the figure, there was a lot of details to it, you know? Like so many details. I don't remember if you could like move the arms or anything. Like, I don't know, man, like this is just an old memory. And I'm kind of thinking, like you know what happened to the company what happened to the figures i don't remember much about it i tried looking up information but there's nothing about this company and i tried looking like how many collections movie collections did they release but i found nothing i did find like a, a listing on ebay for like a whole bunch of them and it looks like there was like four movie collections up until like the margin blue saga obviously but it doesn't say like how many figures were in each collection nothing but i would like to know more about it you know i would like to read up on it you know see how many figures were actually in the collection and if you guys do know any information about about it you know drop a comment because you know i would like to know maybe the people out there would like to know but i, I just think it's a neat nostalgic thing that i just remember and it, it brought you know some good memories you know like just seeing those commercials like every time i put in my vhs so anyway um i'm gonna watch one of the commercials like you can see the commercials on youtube and i haven't watched one in ages the last time i watched it was back when i was a kid so let's watch this commercial together this if labs commercial and just gonna see like i guess how dated it is i, I don't know what to expect man i just remember it being kind of like a, a serious tone you know high quality figure all right so let me look it up all right here we go i think this is a commercial for the first movie collection prepare yourself for if all right see that music right there man it's that android saga music that's creepy bruce falconer android saga music that that's what i meant like Hopefully I don't get copyrighted. Uh, I'll try and kind of play in the background. But yeah, it's just that creepy music it brings up, man. It's already giving you kind of like chills, you know, like, yo, that's creepy. But I kind of want to see what's up, you know? Okay. Prepare yourself for If Labs. If Labs. Introducing the new line of collectible figures from the Dragon Ball Z universe. Ah, uh, dude, just with the music and this guy's dark, creepy voice and showing the figures like in darkness, dude. It's just like a, it's just like a creepy vibe overall, but uh, like, you know, like these figures mean serious business, man. Exceptional scoping and detail. That kid. That kid was a badass magazine. Oh, man. Okay, that's a video for another time. An excellent line of collector-oriented action figures, ICV2.com. If Labs. Movie collection coming January 20, 2002. So, I guess they started releasing in 2002. Yeah, yeah I guess, yeah, just the music, the, the tone of the whole commercial was just creepy. The Android music, that creepy ass Android music, oh man, that brought back memories. So anyway, that's what the commercial is about. Like, I had to speak over it because of the copyright, but if you guys want to check out the commercial, I'll leave a link to it in the description. So how much are they going for on eBay? That's a good question, isn't it? So, If Labs, Dragon Ball Z Collection, do, do, do. It looks like the cool ones are going for like over 100 bucks if you want like a badass one, like the Goku, but if you want like kind of like a lame, one I guess like Krillin in his space uniform or like when he's going to Namek in his spaceship uniform that one looks like on eBay you could buy it now for like about 40 bucks so I mean that one is pretty cheap if you want a cool one like the Goku one yeah that one's uh, about over 100 bucks no actually I guess you could buy like a Goku one for like about if you want something really cheap yeah I guess you can find some for a little over 50 bucks maybe like around 60 70 bucks you know I guess the price range that they're going for online is about 40 to 100 bucks they're still pretty expensive you know but they're not as expensive as i thought they would be like i mean i'd probably buy one you know i mean like 60 bucks 80 bucks you know like that isn't too bad for an old figure um with this high quality still sealed in its box i don't know if i would buy one though like yeah like it's a good price like it's not not a terrible price like obviously it went up a little bit but back in the day i wanted one but right now i'm not too sure like uh, let me know what, what do you guys think should i buy one do an unboxing <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure. So if you guys want one, you get yourselves one. I think they're pretty nice. I don't remember if the quality was as high as they say it is. But anyway, guys, you know, let me know. Do you remember the If Labs figure? Did you buy one when you were a kid? Do you currently have one? Um, is it high quality? Like, you know, let me know because I don't have one. I'm thinking of buying one. And yeah, I just think it's like a good memory. It's just like an old memory that I remember back in the day as a kid watching commercials before I watched 
during VHS uh, Dragon Ball Z episodes. And yeah, just something I wondered about, like what happened to Iflaps? You know, well, where did they go? They just popped up, sold some movie collection figures and disappeared. But yeah, um, you know, let me know your thoughts. Um, and of course, if you want to see more videos like this, drop a comment. And yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one, right? Peace out.